What's the first thing you think of when you hear Marie Antoinette? Let them eat cake. First of all, girl, it wasn't cake, it was brioche. The quote is, qu'il mange de la brioche. Brioche is like a fancy hamburger bun. Okay, one, two. It, she never said it. She was never even accused of saying it in her lifetime. So who actually said it? Jean-Jacques Rousseau. Jean-Jacques Rousseau, the great philosopher, wrote it in book six of his confessions published in 1765 when Marie Antoinette was a nine-year-old child living in Austria and not even on France's radar as a potential queen of France because she still had several older sisters who had not yet died of smallpox. I look like if the ice cream man went to a share concert. <laughs> so I found a list of food facts that are allegedly going to blow our minds. The most expensive pizza in the world costs 12 thousand dollars. Girl, if a pizza costs twelve thousand dollars, it better make my coffee and vacuum my rug. Do you put ketchup on hot dogs? Yes. No? No one puts ketchup on hot dogs. Well, you're from the south. I'm someone, Dorothy. From the south. I am from the York, south. It's spicy. Where are you from? The south. <laughs> so the prosecutors have found out about this episode by torturing this six-year-old child. And what they have spun it to be is that Marie Antoinette has sexually molested and raped her own child and taught him how to masturbate. This is testimony in her trial. She leaps to her feet. This woman who is known for her grace and her composure, she's known for her elegance, even to this day it was so incredible. This woman leaps to her feet and like that tiger that those maids described of in the prison, screamed at those men and said, if I have remained silent on that subject, it is because nature itself holds such crimes in abhorrence. And the crowd is like, what? Thank you for watching and please subscribe to Hurley and Osborne. So the way that this is gathered in the back is reminiscent of a robot la Francaise from the 18th century, but this style sort of came back in the 1870s with the bustle, and then the bustle came back about a decade later. This is exactly what a good historical costume should be. It should be honest about the period and also tell the story that you in the present want to tell. That is storytelling, and this is a great costume. Thank you for watching. I'm Charles Osborne. I'm Dorothy Bishop.